flipping into your videos, it's your boy Lion Salt. We're start here with episode 3 of our 1999 WWF series with Raw is War. Second week of September, and we got the show booked up. One, one. This is supposed to be on the pre-show, so you got to see that, and then everything else is the same. So, boom. So we got one pre-show, 12 seconds, 86 minutes. I could probably throw in another one now because I thought that was on the pre-show. But anyways, let's just jump right into it. We're in front of 21,165 people at the Marriott Center and a 35E+. plus Abysmal match. Tori defeats Lana Kinnear in six and a half minutes by pinfall at the Tori Plex. Hopefully this is enough good women with uh, Stephanie to get in the rating up. Lara Kinnear had a zero. I'm going to change her gimmick. Very good. Lana Kinnear had a fucking zero. Alright, you're going to developmental. Yeah. So Vince McMahon is not supposed to be on screen. I don't know why that is the same. 85 B plus. Triple H comes out. And he says that he wants McMahon. He wants McMahon to come down the ring and face him like a man. He wants McMahon to show that he has those giant grapefruits that he talks about. And because no one gets into Triple H's business and doesn't pay. And that's when Shane comes out. And Shane's like, you know, Vince, Vince isn't here. And he might not be here because honestly... Vince isn't supposed to be here. Vince is no longer an active participant in the WWF. He does corporate stuff now. But you want a challenge? You want to fight tonight? You can go one on one with Kane. Then in a 70, C plus, decent match, the Acolytes defeat Supply and Demand in 609 when Bradshaw defeats. Battle of Venus by pinfall with a double power bomb. Bradshaw needs a new gimmick. All right, so I got all of these. Bradshaw. Seventy-three for Bradshaw, sixty for Farouk, sixty-seven for Godfather, sixty-six for Val Venus. No worker improvements. We're in at a 65, see a big boss man. It's in the ring and he comes to the microphone. He says that he's the best hardcore champion and no one will ever beat him. Bring home your dreams, North Boston, and, for a limited time. And you guys caught the end of an ad. But yeah, so we got an open challenge for tonight. And we're going to continue. Then in a 58 C minus, extremely short match. Tess defeats Taka in four minutes with a pump handle slam. Tess had a 65, Taka had a 57. No work or improvements. Stephanie did get some good work, and they have great chemistry. We just into a 79B, where Chris Jericho comes out, and, you know, he starts cutting a promo on Tess, saying that, you know, for someone that is six foot something, 200 yards, and straight up muscle, you really haven't gotten anywhere in this business. But I see through it. I see that you don't really love daddy's little girl I see that you just want everything that comes with it and you know what I don't blame you but what you gotta realize is that garbage stinky net that stinky nasty disgusting garbage pale whore has gone through everyone she went to college with, everyone in Stanford, Connecticut, and half of the boys in the WWF locker room. But you know, what I said the other week was true. I'll slap her in the walls of Jericho and make her scream all night long. And it's weird because he's the face and he's the heel. But it's the WWF. Well, continue in a 71C. Triple H comes out back to talk to X-Pac. He tries to get him to go talk to Kane, and X-Pac's like, I know, but he, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, but I'll talk to him. I'll see if I can get the match canceled, but 
I can't promise you. And that's when Billy Gunn comes up and he's like, looks at Road Dog, he's like, we need to talk. And then they walk out and is this the beginning of something? I mean, you got GX here. Poorly, poorly, fantastic. All right. And then in the 94A. What are the changes? Gimmick, hold on. The Rock and Sock come out and want a rematch for their WWF Tag Team Championships. And The Undertaker and Big Show come out. And The Undertaker's like, you know, I'm in a giving mood tonight. But you won't be facing me. Because as the WWF Champions, we get to pick the type of match. And it'll be under dark side rules. And that is where anybody a part of the ministry can be a part of the match. So, tonight, it will be you two versus us two, Viscera and Midi. Below average? Nope. Complete the turn? Soon. Then we leave into an 82B. What a great match. The Rock and Sock Connection defeat Big Show and Midian and Viscera in eight and a half minutes when they pin Viscera. I don't know why it was that. 100 for Rock and Mankind. 84 for Big Show. 41, 40, 56. Uh, worker improvements. Midian. Undertaker was on commentary. And then it just, I couldn't have him win the title, so the Rock and Soccer once again tag team champions, blah, 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 92A. Yes. And then in the 33E+, plus, but they didn't have much wrestling. That was supposed to be a comedy thing. Gave it match a breather, everything. Uh, Crash Holly defeats the Big Boss Man to win the World Wrestling Federation Hardcore Championship in about five minutes. I was calling, he was wasted. All right. I'm going to change that. So you're going to see me. Ch He's going to still be bad. And then in 80B, in an exceptional match, Triple H defeats Kane in about 13 and 40. Well, during the match with Xbox. Accidentally distracted Kane. Not enough selling. 90 for Triple H, 79 for Kane. Worker improvements. And then Triple H wants to come in. He says, tune in. Thursday. Challenges McMahon to show up because if he has balls, he'll be there. Increase their popularity in 19 regions. Boss man's annoyed, I get that. Fine. Stern warning. So you'll see me cheat right now. Michael Lockwood, right? No first. Hard drugs. We're gonna bump that down. So 20 is not affecting. We're gonna hit him reformed. Cause I can't keep like. I get it, but you can't keep doing it. All right. So you're gonna get some money. I'm just gonna give you some money so you don't leave. Jerry, get a thousand. Uh, Jerry, three thousand. Sure, you're leaving. You're annoyed again, so I'll give you another five. Uh, Jesus, eleven. Take it. 
Looks like we hit our 10 minutes, so we'll give another China a bonus. Anyone here? Mankind? Poor new gimmick, yeah. I get it. So we're gonna go to first Mankind. I'm not listening to. Hmm. Let's see if he gets better at it. So anything else that I wanted to see? So we gotta change this now. But Oh yeah, what the fuck is her name? You had a zero. Yes. <sighs> we need more women. These are all the women in the world that I can hire. She's loyal to ECW. That's Jazz, right? Aja Kong. Old Meccano. Trish Stratus needs to fucking debut soon. That's all I know. Anything else I want to show? No? It's out. Yeah, no, that's it. Just look at our storylines. This has gone down. I can't wait to end this. We're going to do that one on SmackDown, that on SmackDown. This is good. But anyways... Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. A peace.